the opposition goaltender early and often winning big. We got to take a quick pause for the cause, but we got a lot more coming up on the other side. Stay with us. Beautiful night for hockey. Let's get ready to go. Jake Sabowski and Ray Ferraro ready to bring you all the action. Both teams are lined up and we are set to get things going. The Kraken have won the opening faceoff and take possession here at the start. Seattle's got it now. Goalie with a stop. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. The Jets win the draw. Quick feed to Connor. Winnipeg's ready to go on the attack. Now a quick pass to Adler. Cherus, the victim of a hook penalty coming up. And the puck's kicked free. And let's see what the call is. Well, I could hear the coaches were frustrated with that. They just want the player to keep his stick on the ice. Instead, he takes a hooking penalty. Seattle's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Scoreless game, power play gets their first opportunity. Man, I couldn't get on the ice quick enough for these, James. And he takes a shot! And that's blocked. Seattle's got a hold of the puck now. Can't connect on the pass. Trying to exit the defensive zone. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can. Moves the puck to the attacking area. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Hellebuck on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Giroux's relied upon to generate chances for his team. Hellebuck's known around the league for being solid between the pipes. He'll look to live up to that reputation. One of the tonight. Guys, back to you. Poked away in the offensive end. And that's blocked away. And they get that puck down the ice. The Kraken have gained possession off the wall. Seattle's across the blue line. Here's a chance! Turned aside with the glove by Hellebuck. Cherus looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Seattle's won the faceoff. Puts it on net and makes the save. Oh, wow! Stops him again! So good. A couple of quick stops to keep the puck out. Let's it go! Monster saved by Hillebuck. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Stepan's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Hellebuck's a goalie that seems to get better the more shots he faces, guys. His workhorse zone ability means he can find his rhythm and make stop after stop as they keep coming his way. Here's a short pass to step on. Nice zone entry on the left side. Moves it quickly over to Harkins. Blocked in traffic. Seattle's looking to break out. Moves the puck. Here's a chance. Turned aside with the glove by Hellebuck. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. Taken along the wall by Giroux. Here's a shot. Oh, great save by Hillebuck. Carvalho's got it against the boards. 
Here's a chance in front. Scores! Well, the goaltender's going to want to have that one back. He put it in himself. They really don't need to change much, James. I love the way that they've played tonight. And the coach is just reminding the kid, don't get frustrated. Continue to attack. Continue to try to score and blow this game wide open. They've had plenty of chances here tonight. Let's see if they can continue it. Seattle's got the game's first goal as they lead here. 1-0 early in the first. Always awesome to be in front of the game. You push the pace. You make the other team uncomfortable when you're out front. Niku's got the puck. Move to the middle. Stopped by the goaltender. He's going to go back to the bench and want to look at that one again. He had enough time to really make a good shot. I don't think he quite got it where he wanted to. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Stepan's won the faceoff. The Jets will play it from the defensive zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Kessel's shot doesn't need much time to be unloaded. So even in a tight spot, he's able to deliver it accurately on goal. As a result, he's in among the top ten in goals again. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Shot on net. Oh, what a big time stop by Hillebuck. Larson's such an aggressive player. You see him among the league leaders in hits, and what his style does is open up the ice for other players. It creates havoc on a forecheck, and you always need to know when he's around. Here's a chance with the stop. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Kessel's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same, you wear the same suit all the time. Alexiak's lugging the puck. Slides the pass over to Kessel. Moves the puck along the half wall. And that pass goes off a stick. Lowry's got the puck along the wing. Sent into the offensive zone. Quick pass to Stastny with the stop. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Getting into the later stages of this period. 1-0 the score. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Dunn. Into the offensive zone. Here's a chance. That's blocked. Niku's got it in the defensive end. Into the attacking end. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Giroux's won it off the faceoff. Takes the feed. Winnipeg's got the puck. The Jets move it in. And serves up a little knock on the play. Kessel's moving the puck through his own zone. And now he passes up to Giroux. And it's a quick pass to Carvalho. Turned aside with a glove. Hellebuck's gonna cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Grabs it with the glove. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Jets take possession off the faceoff. Pionk's taking it from his own end. And he slides it quickly to Connor. Winnipeg's got the puck against the half wall. Seattle's got the puck. Slides it diagonally to Carvalho. Here we go, on man rush. Turns 
it away. Quick pass to Pionk. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back to period number two in a moment. Both teams with a chance to recharge and refresh, and this second period about set to get underway. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. The Jets gain possession in their own end. Slides the puck over. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Kraken have possession along the boards. Tries to feed it over to Carvalho. Right in the slot! And they can't connect! The Jets have it now. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Puts it up front! And that's blocked! Picked up along the wall by Niku. Couldn't find the intended target. Gets the puck over to Kessel. Passes it to Giroux. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Takes a shot. Scores! That's back to back, Ray. Well, the, the game has changed. Those two goals here really have changed the outlook. Oh, man, you just love playing with a guy like this. The passes are hard and flat. They're right on your tape. I played with a couple of them. John Anderson back when I was with Hartford, and then Alexi Kovalev with the Rangers. They could drop it on your tape. The rookie's had a really good game, and he gets a little tap from the coach as he comes back to the bench. That doesn't happen very often. Pretty satisfying when you know the boss is happy with you. We've called his name multiple times. He's been all over the ice tonight. When he uses his tape-to-tape -tape superstar ability to pass the puck firmly and accurately, good things happen, and we saw it on that play, guys. His team ends up with the goal, and he gets rewarded with an assist for that great setup. Moves it to Connor. And now he moves it quickly to Shifley. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Seattle's got it in their own zone. Quick shot, and he comes up with it. Hellebuck's been excellent. His save percentage is terrific tonight, but they are just not finding anything at the offensive end. Carvalho's had an outstanding season. He's among the league leaders in points because he can score and he can create off the pass. Angles it over to Connor. From the right side, they gain the zone. Takes the shot, nothing doing. away in his own end. Seattle's got it into the offensive zone. That's off a stick. Winnipeg's moving it up the ice. Goes right to the crease. Quick feed to Ehlers. Here's a shot and a great scene. Vanacek's gonna cover it up for a faceoff. While his team's ahead, he wants to make sure the pace of the game stays at the level they like. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Seattle's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Puck is dropped, and we are follow. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Hillebuck. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. The Jets take it across the line. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Larson. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Well past the midway mark of this period. Seattle's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. Puck scooped up by Pionk. Blocked in front. And he regains control of the puck. Seattle's got possession of the puck. Here they come inside the neutral zone. A chance! Turns it aside with the glove. Hellebuck's gonna hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed to cover there. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. Here's a short pass to Ehlers. Fantastic save! 
Vanacek so sharp on this. Reads the play, reads the puck, makes the save. Moves it quickly over to Kessel. Handles the puck. And that's broken up. Winnipeg's got the puck along the boards. Here he is in close. Glove saved by the goalie. They work the puck into a scoring spot, get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. Second period nearly in the books here. Slides it quickly to Stastny. Here's a shot, and that one stopped. Covers it up, we'll get a stoppage in play. He took a pretty good jolt there, James, and I think we should take another look. He seems a little shaken up. Here in the late going of the frame, it's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score 3-1. Nice job tying up his opponent. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. There's a great glove save by Hillebuck. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Takes possession off the draw. Denies that opportunity. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. The officials are set, the players are set. Ray Ferraro between the benches is set. I'm James Sabolski. let's go. Moment of truth for one team, here we go. Third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? The Jets continue to be close in this game, which is maybe a little bit of a miracle. They don't have very much in the way of shots on goal. Grabs the puck here at the blue line. He scores! It's good to be greedy. You get one, you chase that next one. Really put your foot down on the opponent. So nice, they snipe twice. Couple of things to look at here on the replay. Watch the positioning to deflect the puck. And then look how hard it is to track. The goalie's got all kinds of people all over the place trying to find the puck. Can't do it this time. They continue to preserve the lead. Ray Ferraro, it looks like the coach is sending a message out there. Yeah, the message is safety first. They want that puck forward. They don't want any creative plays, really, that there's a chance you could turn it over. And he's reminding the youngest player, which is always a good thing to do. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Seattle's been showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. Slides it across to Edler. That's a textbook save by Vanacek. Quick pass to Connor. And that snapped aside with the stick by Larson. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Nikus got it along the wing. The Jets take it across the blue line. Winnipeg's got a hold of it against the wall. He scores! So is this the time? Coach says the two goal leads the most dreaded lead of hockey. Oh, yeah, somebody's going to say it guaranteed down there, but now you're only down two. You've got to push the play, take some chances, get up the ice. You've got to get another one. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Puck grab by Shifley. A chance in front, and a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Seattle's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Makes a move in front. Scores! Bill Kessel. Nice. Excellent.
excellent shot. He gets his stick into position to deliver the puck. Goalie thinks he's got most of it covered, which he does, but not enough. It's just inside the post. The Kraken have continued to apply the pressure here in this third period. I think even if they try to take the pressure off, it's not going to matter. They're just the better team. The Jets win it. Edler's got the puck in his own zone. And he passes it up ahead to Dubois. The Jets looking against the half wall. And that shot dies in traffic. Giroux stick handling in his own zone. Tries to get the puck over to Larson. Carvalho's got it across the line. Rocks him on the play. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. Well, what else goes wrong here? I mean, you're playing poorly, you're way behind, and now you're shorthanded. Two minutes for interference. Time of the penalty. Four minutes and 54 seconds. He looks deep to Carvalho. And that pass can't connect. Puck set down the ice. We'll get an icing. Carvalho's an outstanding playmaker. He's got terrific vision. And as a result, he leads the league in assists at this point. Giroux's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Pass to Carvalho. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. No room for that one to get through. His reflexes on display tonight. Denies him again. Quick reflexes and good positioning to make a couple of stops in a row. Here he is, shot right in front. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Step on, side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Seattle's got possession here in their own end. Now a quick pass to Kessel. And that's stolen by Stepan. Made that stop. Loose puck battle along the boards. And that pass goes awry. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Winnipeg's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. To the offensive zone. Can't connect. You try to generate enough chances in a game that eventually you're going to punch through, but you got to get it on the net once you create the chance. Denied by the puck stopper. Hellebuck's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Seattle's got a three-goal lead here. They're up 5-2. Sends a pass over. Poked away at center ice. Lowry's got it in the offensive zone. Seattle's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it to Kessel. Seattle's on the attack. Puts it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Winnipeg's got the puck against the boards. Quick feed to Kopp. Quick stop by Benicek. The Jets scoop it up along the boards. Vanacek's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Lowry's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Moves the puck across to Carvalho. Can't get it to go. Denies him! The Kraken have the puck against the boards. Seattle's got control of it now here in the offensive end. The Jets move it ahead. That pass doesn't go. To the low slot. Denies him in close. Uh, he's going to feel he missed one there. You don't get many chances that clean. The goalie turns it aside. Here's a short pass to Eberle. Takes a shot. That's gloved by Hellebuck. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. 
Gord's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Carlin Bade is standing by with who had the better night. Jeruz had the upper hand in this battle, guys. His scoring prowess was on display, and it's a big reason why I'm giving him the edge here. Vanacek's gonna give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Florida's up next on the calendar. Do players ever look ahead to games? I, I think so. I mean, in particular, when there's one that stands out, it's a ex-Stanley Cup champion or the team you sure. used to play against. Those ones always carry a little more pop. From center, they get into the attacking area. Gets a glove on him to make the save. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Let's send it back down between the benches. Ray Ferraro gives us the answer to the Razor's edge. Carvalho's play tonight made him stand out. You couldn't help but notice how productive he was throughout the evening. And they keep the pressure on. Winnipeg's got the puck in their own end. Takes the feed from off the wing. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Finds some space in the corner. Let's it go from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Seattle's got a hold of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Fleury. Carvalho's got it on the offensive end. Stopped by Hellebuck. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Hellebuck's been super busy tonight, but doesn't show any signs of fatigue. He kicks out another one. And they score! With the delayed penalty, everybody falls back on their heels a bit. They don't defend well, and it's in their net. Winnipeg's narrowed the gap here in the third, but still a long way to go, Red. James, this is still way down the road to even this game up. But if you get one, maybe you get another. Maybe they get nervous. Well, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Let's see what the officials are calling. The Jets have been handed two for interference. Stepons recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Hellebuck's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. Chiru's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Winnipeg's won the draw. Scrum along the boards. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Stepan. The man advantage is over. Well, these penalty killers have been on the same page from the drop of the puck tonight. They have been outstanding when they've been a man down. Scooped up along the wall by Stastny. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Well, a big face-off here, Razor. Empty net. The face-off becomes critical. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. Poked away in the offensive zone by Pionk. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Big save by the goaltender once again. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Takes the feed from his own end. Seattle's gained possession along the boards. Gaining momentum along the wing. Slides the puck to Dubois. And that's a great read to force the turnover. Wheeler is going to play it against the half wall. And he makes the save. Puts it on net. Takes it right in the chest. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. All good things come to an end, but I still like the way they played, though, in this one. I thought they played pretty well. They had plenty of chances, and the game's close. You can't win every night. Hooray, Ferraro. My name is James.
James Sabalski, thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Have a great night.